Hang on to your seats here. It inevitably involves Chelsea. Here we go. Edging closer to an agreement with Manchester United, we're hearing over the signing of Jadon Sancho, there has been further talks, permanent and loan options still on the table. Ideally, what we understand is Chelsea need to offload players. Raheem Sterling, as we mentioned a little while ago, one of a number of players being offered to clubs, while United remain open to the idea of Sterling joining. They're not actively pursuing it. Their focus is on Sancho. They don't need to replace him, we understand, if he was to leave. Chelsea is still with us and we were just very briefly running through the options of players that Chelsea have who could play in the same position as Jadon Sancho. It is frightening. If you start with Neto, go to Nkunku, Palmer can play out in those wide positions that Jadon Sancho would like to. Majuwek, you put Jao Felix in there, Mudrik in there as well. So, why on earth? The talent Jadon Sancho has got is not in doubt, but why on earth would you want to add Sancho to an already a clustered squad in those positions? I heard Enzo Muriska say the other day that he really wasn't happy with Mudrik's performance. And I look at what Sancho is very technical, can come inside, can play on either wing like you said. He had a fantastic year at Dortmund and ultimately just fell out with the manager, Ten Hag, at Man United. I think he was probably hoping that Ten Hag got the sack. It wasn't to be. And now I think he's moving on, back to London. I feel like with Enzo Muriska, he's going to be playing in a system, a team where they have a philosophy. And I think he'll thrive there. I think it's a great move for him, his family and obviously Man United, that they want to get rid of him anyway. Do you think that means, from what you're saying there, that we could see outgoings for the likes of Mudrik that we might not be expecting? Yeah, I think, like we've said, it's all going to be around Chelsea today. There'll be ins, there'll be outs. Like you said, there's a lot of players there that can play in those positions. Do you really want those players, all them options? Because if you've got the likes of Palmer's playing all the time, guaranteed, whether it be on the right, is he better in the 10? I like him in the 10 because I think he knits everything together with Magic out there, with the strike with Jackson he can play through balls, obviously he scores himself, he's got real intelligence way ahead of his years. So I'd like to see him in that number 10 position, but he can play anywhere, players of that quality can play anywhere, but he's definitely starting, we all know that. And then Majuek, he started playing really well now direct, can come inside, can go outside, he's doing really well. Mudrik hasn't done well since he's gone there. You've seen a few flashes in the pan but nothing much what you would expect of him when he came with that huge prize tag. And when you see the highlights of what he was doing at Shakhtar, it was unbelievable, and it hasn't happened for Chelsea. So bringing someone like Jadon Sancho in, he gives you versatility on either wing. He's got intelligence, you've got Neto that you've just paid a lot of money for. I love Neto. And then Kunku. Again, Nku cousin, really. Obviously, he was injured, so you give him the benefit of doubt. When you're out for so long, it takes a long time to get back into the rhythm of things. So I'm not ready to make an assumption on if he's a good signing or not, but Neto, he always causes problems. You know, he'd done it in the Euros. He was coming off the bench and he was creating goals. At Wolves, he was fantastic. Very direct, can score goals. I look at Sancho though, and I think it's a little bit different. I think he can play on either wing, and that will give him the versatility to put Cole Palmer in the 10 position. If Majuriki's not playing, then Sancho can go on the right side, the left side as well. I like it. I think it's great for Sancho. I think it's great for Man United. And I think it's a really good signing for Chelsea. 